the two uh, differences in short-term rentals, one being a destination uh, rental where it's going to be at a vacation area. And then the other one is really short-term for contract workers, um, you know, nurses, people that are installing gigantic pieces of equipment in hospitals and power plants and that type of thing. And they're going to be there for, you know, two or three months at a time. Um, I, I think, uh, the, the ones that aren't destinations are probably the ones that are going to have the most consistent um, occupancy versus the destination areas. Oh, I, what do you think? Yeah, well, just just like we like to be in the um, recession resistant business of lending, uh, you know, the an affordable housing in an affordable mm-hmm. housing market. I like to to. Um, offer Airbnbs in an area that is, um, you know, close to hospitals, uh, family reunions, weddings, funerals, sports teams. The buy-in cost is is lower. Is much lower. Is lower. So already there's more, you can play with more houses, buy more houses. And my rent rates are real similar to what you're going to get at a hotel. But a Mm -hmm. hotel, you get one room. With my house, you're going to get two or three or whatever. Mm -hmm whatever it is you're looking for. So you're going to get more room. Um, and it's, it is more consistent. I mean, we don't, you know, we're not slammed. You don't have big seasonal dips. That's and exactly highs. Right. It stays consistent throughout. Mm-hmm. Now I have seen um, really in October and November in, into November, um, slower bookings than we've had in quite some time. It's not empty, but you know, yeah. we're half full. That's interesting. Um, and, and I know you're in that women's mastermind. What are you all attributing that to or the, the speculation behind? It? That's what we, we don't know. We're really trying to figure that out. And uh, um, I think I think even airlines have kind of felt that, too, where they're, you know, they really started uh, building their business back up again. And now it's kind of in a, you know, just mm. leveling out a little bit. And I think that's really what it is. Um, we still have, like where we are in, in our small town, I still have some traveling crews, work crews, but mm-hmm. I don't have the number of work crews this year that I had last year. Yeah. So I, I think that because of COVID, I had more because they were shut down and they needed to, it was a great time for them to do upgrades and things like that. So I think yeah. that made a, a a huge difference. Sports teams, you know, that's all still really strong, especially here in the Rock Hill market. Yeah. And the in the growing market, nonetheless, mm-hmm. there's infrastructure, there's new construction, there's, you know, yeah. The new Panthers practice stadium, right. and all that good stuff. But according to the permits, like here in Rock Hill, uh, our small little town of Rock Hill, they require mm-hmm. permits. We have um one third more short term rentals this year, this month, this year than we had last year at this time. So mm. the market's starting to really get uh, So that, that saturated. right there, that tells me, yeah, the slower bookings is because people have more options. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Which in, you know, the way it should be in a good economy. <laughs> well, but a better economy would be that they'd uh, continue to grow. 